DC here, hi guys and gals. Well, yes, those of you who have been following my vlogs for years know that this is around the season. It's not quite spring yet, but I mean, January, February, March, when I do trim some of the trees. So this little guy uh, is gonna need a little bit of, a bit of work. And I just finished over there, just a minute if I can show it to you from far away. I'll walk over to it. Oh, that's the heat pump over there. So, this guy has just been finished trimming. So you can see all the, the branches, the up shoots, you know, from last year. And uh, got me to thinking, you know, how many of my own up shoots or wild branches have grown on me this year uh you know every t every year when i make these tree vlogs i kind of make it a little bit philosophical and i think that it's pretty important in a way every now and then to take stock you know of uh what's going on in your life and uh, i've been making these tree vlogs for years now and actually quite a few of the trees aren't here anymore they have passed on <laughs> <coughs> and um, it's rather sobering also because i realize that uh, well i mean i just have to look at myself in the in the camera and realize you know how much i have aged also since uh, i've been making vlogs and uh it, it, that's why I say it. it's it's good every now and then, you know, just to take stock uh, of how, how things are. Yeah. So for this tree, I mean, as you know, when you, any of you who've, you know, uh, pruned uh, trees or plants or flowers or stuff, I'm not very good at flower, with flowers. Mrs. DC does that. But, but you know that sometimes you've got to cut and you've got to cut deep sometimes. To, to be certain that uh, uh, that the tree will, will grow in an appropriate way. Because if you just let it go wild, it's gonna be even more painful uh, later on. Yeah, and isn't that the way it is for us as well in life, I guess? Yeah, oh. I'm just looking out over there and thinking like, yeah, that is actually quite an ugly tree, that one over there which I showed you before, but it produces quite well. And one of the reasons is that uh, I don't let it, like I say, go wild. Yeah. When you have a, I guess when you have a house, in a way, there's a lot of things that you end up learning, especially if you have a ground, grounds. But that's what I've realized over the years, like with my well, I don't have so many now, but when I had family members that were on farms, have you ever listened to, to farmers? Uh, I mean, I've had a lot of contact with farmers. It's, and over here in Switzerland with uh, vine growers and so on. And it is very impressive actually, how much wisdom that you can get from, from these people. They, they very often, uh, you know, they have an other another relationship uh, with, with what's around them, with nature and so on. And it's not that, uh, you know, they're not all, uh, uh, I was gonna say, uh, uh, environmentalists that go crazy or something like that. No, they have this kind of respect for nature, but also knowing that they are the ones that are dominating. I know some of you don't like that word, but that are at least, you know, uh, helping nature go in the way that it should, at least in the plants and so on, and, and to to serve us, you know. Uh, I think in that respect, they're using the right order of things, yeah. So to get back to my plants and my trees, yeah, it's, it's a fair share of work, a lot less than I used to. I used to have like seven, eight trees that I used to trim, <coughs> but I don't do that anymore. Don't want to fall off the ladder you have seen some of my tree vlogs where i was like perched in the ladder which was almost criminal 
especially I mean, if uh, I had my friends that worked in security and would have seen me, they would have gone mad, wouldn't they? But you do see, I am wearing the, the safety glasses though. One of the reasons is very simple. I only have one good eye left. I don't certainly don't want to lose that one. <laughs> no, but anyway, uh, you know, protection is a good thing. So yeah, I guess that's about it. I won't talk much longer because I do have to get to work and uh, it's not obligatory to have a 10 minute log every time. So DC will be signing off. I hope you have a great Saturday and you know, if you have a chance, take stock of how many of those upshoots are in your life right now and if necessary prune off a few <laughs> dc signing off take care and be blessed bye bye well dc here hi guys and gals i had to come back for a few seconds i just wanted to show you this this one so this is pretty good i'm pretty happy uh i think i did a, a decent job and uh I took away a lot of those suckers that were going to take off a lot of energy in the coming year and made the tree nice and trim. So hopefully I can think about doing similar things to myself. DC signing off. Take care. And that was Tree Vlog 2024. Bye-bye.